Hi everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to put holes in things. Uh, this is something I see a lot of people asking about or struggling with, so I figured I'd just do a quick and dirty tutorial on how to do that, uh, both the easy way and the um, what I would call the right way. But you can decide for yourself. So I'm just going to create a general ProBuilder cube here to start with. And let's give it some dimensions maybe so we can use it a little better say this is a wall and a house or who knows what and you just want to chop a hole in it. So simple and easy way uh, is to use the semi-experimental boolean tool that generally works pretty well. Uh, so basically you have your object then create another object uh, probably using control shift K to create a um, well in this case I'll create like a cylinder here that I'm gonna use to put a hole through and I'll just maybe give this a little more height is all. Uh, alternatively, or alternately, um, you might have a different object specifically made, any shape at all that you want to use to make the hole. Anything will work. The more complex the two objects are, the higher the chance of a problem happening. Uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, so we've got our object that's going to essentially drill through and make the hole. And we have the object that's going to um, get the hole put in it. Um, once you have those, go ahead and click on Tools, Pro Builder, Experimental, Boolean Tool. This will bring up the current and experimental panel for this current and experiment, uh, experimental tool. Uh, choose both the options, or both the objects, by clicking on the little circle. We'll grab the cube for number one, and the cylinder for number two. Uh, and then you have a few options, intersection, union, and subtraction. In this case, we're going to want subtraction, and click on Apply that'll do is leave your original objects alone and create a brand new object. I'll pull this over here with the hole cut in it. Hooray! So the other option, as I was saying, I like to call the correct option, but it's not really. It's just a different way that, that allows me to have full control over uh, the new geometry, is take your object that you're going to cut a hole through, select the two faces <coughs> uh, that the hole will travel through, and then move to scale mode and hold shift and scale on one axis first and then let go of shift so we're not going to do an extruder inset we're just going to scale make sure you're letting go of that shift and then move or scale I mean on the other axis so now you have these nice little uh, uh, insets or, or etchings or whatever you would call it you can hit backspace to delete both of those we'll grab the edges all around on one side hold shift to extrude those edges and then hold V and click on just one axis so you can snap to element and you can snap it right over uh, unless you're using progrids in which case it's even easier it'll just snap on its own so there we go uh, you also want to weld those verts of course just I do a quick drag select all of them uh, actually just to showcase this real quick here otherwise these verts are not actually connected we've just drawn them together but they're not connected so just grab all the verts and hit Alt-V, and that'll weld them down. And now this is a nice connected vert here. So there you go. That's the simple way. Obviously, it works best for simpler items like squares. You can do it for cylinders or, I mean, anything else, really. Um, but, of course, it's a bit more work or a lot of times a lot more work than just using the Boolean tool. The benefit, of course, is doing it this way. You end up with nice precise clean geometry that you know uh, you have put together properly and you don't have to worry about uh, what silly uh, degenerate tries or something the boolean tool might have added even if uh, it's a perfect tool I just I prefer to do it myself usually um, but both options are perfectly valid and great to use so uh, hopefully this helps some people uh, lets you have a bit better option for putting holes through things <laughs> um, so thanks for watching um, See in some future uh, simple tutorials like this, I think I'll need to start uh, start doing tutorials on on mini mini items like this, M I N I and M A N Y both. <laughs>